convene at a conference such as this, the organization felt it was important to bring everyone together and to learn from each other, to hear the challenges that prohibited or constrained and gave rise then to a medical error. Diagnostic research is critically important to addressing this major issue. It has allowed us over the course of the past decade or more to identify the severity of the problem, to determine how many patients are affected, large numbers, half a million, a million who die or are permanently disabled each year in the United States as a consequence of failed diagnosis. And it allows us to help build solutions by identifying the causes and creating fixes that will address the problem. The most important leverage point that we have in making a difference in this problem is to engage patients. Listen to them, take advantage of what they know about their bodies and their experience with their illnesses, and encourage them to share that with us fully um, in, in ways that help um, healthcare providers uh, get to the right diagnosis in the most timely way. Finding people, let alone an organization, that want patient voice and use that patient voice is such a model that's the future of diagnosis. That's what we're looking toward, a world where no patient is harmed by diagnostic error. If we can eliminate diagnostic error, if we can ensure diagnostic safety, that is one piece of this large sort of tapestry or puzzle um, that we're all sort of working on to create um, equity, to create and manifest justice for everyone.